when the festive season was all about wonderful television. And I don't mean that in a sort of nasty way, but, you know, it was kind of like all the specials that you look forward to seeing, you know, whether it be to the Manor Born, Are You Being Served, Last of the Summer Wine, and they all had a festive twist, didn't they? They put a little bit more effort into those episodes and everybody wanted to tune in. Of course, from the 70s, 80s and 90s, it was all about the soaps. And the soaps, of course, delivered those big dramas, didn't they? Who killed who? There was always a fire, an amazing sort of cliffhanger that took you into the new year. How times change, though, because one would have thought that this particular period that we're all living in and seeming we're all watching more television than ever, it would be very hard for one particular individual to draw a huge audience. Seemingly, though, that's not the case. Let me explain. How are you keeping to it? You all right? Yes, as ever. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time out. By the way, lovely tips on how to peel an orange. I'm going to try the one with the spoon. I know, never thought of that. But they, they, I know it sounds like we're gossiping here that I'll get told off, I know. But the thing is, the skins are so hard. You know, you can't... I mean, I think the skin probably weighs more than the orange. Have you found that? I mean, they are nice once you get into them, but oh, no, no, no. But I'm definitely going to try the spoon idea. Never heard of that one before. That's the beauty of our community. You see, our chums, we share things and you think, right, I'll give that a crack. Never noticed that before. Back as ever, though, to your story of the day. Yes, we have to say congratulations to His Majesty the King. He has literally dominated the airwaves over the festive period. Now, his annual King's speech was the most watched program on British television on Christmas Day, eclipsing all other programs. 7.9 million in real time, 22 million in follow-up, catch-up, whatever you want to call it. And of course, people around the world. Now, what's interesting here is that now, what's interesting here is, of course, it's not just really uh, the, you know, the King's speech, but it just proves how many people are genuinely interested in his message, what he's got to say. A few years back, you know, and this is very true, Her Majesty the Queen didn't pull in such a big audience. Of course, it was, you know, uh, pre-social media, stuff like that, and people did tune in at 3 p.m. But it just goes to show this alongside the brilliant documentary all about the King's coronation has proven to be a spectacular PR exercise for the monarchy. People are genuinely interested. People are interested in what goes on behind the scenes, reliving that glorious day on May the 6th, Coronation Day, finding out exactly what they went through as they prepared for that spectacular and historical day. But as I say, it's fascinating to think that the King, despite all of those naysayers and Republicans saying nobody's interested in the monarchy, well, time and time again, one might have suspected that sadly with the passing of of our wonderful monarch Queen Elizabeth, maybe that would have dipped. Seemingly though, King Charles is proving to be very popular as monarch and only set to rise. As ever, I'd love to know what you thought to the King's speech this year. Did you watch the documentary if you could get it in your part of the world? And more importantly, are you surprised at the viewing figures outstripping literally every other programme on British television on that day? Something to raise a glass to. Sure, you'll all agree. Neil Shaw in the very heart of London.